Hello, Father James Kubicki here with some thoughts on the gospel from today's Mass. It's from the beginning of Matthew, chapter 9, and it tells, in an abbreviated version when compared to Luke and Mark's accounts, of a paralyzed man whose friends brought him to Jesus. There are a couple of big lessons for us in this story. First, it says that Jesus saw their faith. It's not clear if the paralyzed man himself had faith. Maybe Jesus saw the faith of his friends because he, being paralyzed, didn't have a choice. His friends could have just picked him up as he protested and took him to Jesus. Isn't it a consolation to think that our prayers can have such a good effect even if those we are praying for don't have faith? And then there's a line I love. Jesus says to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At this point, I imagine the paralyzed man thinking to himself, uh, yeah, sure, that's nice, but I'd really like to be able to walk. I'd like to be healed. And Jesus did heal him physically, but first he healed him spiritually by forgiving his sins. The great lesson here is the order of Jesus' priorities. He emphasizes that the health of the soul is ultimately more important than the health of the body. Think about it. The paralyzed legs of the man, though healed now, would one day become lifeless again when he died. But his soul, healed now of sin, was made ready for eternal life in heaven. What about you? Are you praying for others? And do you have your priorities in line with those of Jesus, emphasizing their spiritual healing as well as their physical healing?